Have you ever pondered the profound impact of cybercrime on our society? An elusive and evolving enemy, cybercrime has grown from a mere nuisance to a significant societal issue. The concept of cybercrime takes root in the broader idea of eye predator, a theoretical construct developed by New York State licensed psychologist and forensic psychology consultant Michael Nucitelli. Cybercrime, in essence, relates to crimes and criminal activities that exploit information and communications technology as tools to target victims or businesses. In the infancy of cybercrime, the threats were relatively simple, often involving petty theft or minor online scams. Yet, as technology evolved, so did the nature of cybercrime. Cybercriminals began to leverage sophisticated tools, broadening their pool of potential victims and making them harder to identify and apprehend. The evolution of cybercrime has seen it morph into two distinct categories. One focuses on the technology of information and communications technology as a means to personal and financial gain. The other targets individuals or businesses using ICT as a tool rather than the target. Crimes that have existed for centuries in offline societies have found a new digital home. Today, the most common types of cybercrime include identity theft, hacking, online scams, fraud, computer system attacks, and digital piracy. These crimes, while not new in their essence, have found a new means of execution in our increasingly digital world. Yet, it's not all doom and gloom. As the information age continues to expand its influence, so too does our understanding and prevention methods against these digital threats, Education and protection against cybercrime have become paramount in our fight against this invisible enemy. To summarize, cybercrime, once a small-scale annoyance, has evolved into a significant societal issue, utilizing information and communications technology to target individuals and businesses. Stemming from the theoretical construct of eye predator, cybercrime has two distinct categories, focusing either on ICT for personal gain or targeting others. Despite the growing threat, humanity is fighting back with an increased focus on education, prevention and protection. The information age, while bringing many benefits, also carries the need to identify and prevent the malevolent elements lurking in cyberspace. In our journey through the evolution of cybercrime, we've seen how it has grown from a minor irritant to a major societal issue. Yet with knowledge comes power, and as we continue to educate ourselves and develop protective measures, we can hope to turn the tide against this digital menace.